Hello CA users, welcome to MSP CA for CA engineers and freshers. Guys, in previous session we discussed about how to create a relevant giant in hypermesh that's of a deformable body to deformable body. In this session we are going to discuss about a relevant joint but here material we use resin. So how we are going to define these things? So in below snap whatever you are saying that's a vehicle hinges there. So this body A is there, no? So this body A, this is fixed one and this body B which is rotating along Z. Z rot. Right? So this kind of joints we are using in automotive in almost all uh, different different domains we are using these joints. So in this uh, in this lesson uh, you will learn majorly how to use this mat 20 and you can go with next slide you can learn about external set so quickly we can see in hyper mesh how to create this one so so this is the hinge parts are there so see these are the two parts right so body a and body b right so First and foremost thing, we need to create a section property for this. This is on. So as you can see, you can mask it, you can check this is a solid elements. These are the solid elements, right? So I'll create a property solid section. So type is volume. Select six solid create edit then come back then create a material property for body A so this body A right this is the body A the fixed one right so we card image you can go to mat L20 that is mat 20 commonly we are calling create edit can create the uh, density 7.89 per minus 9 and angst modulus and the poise ratio so this this is very very important same means central mass right so one means we need to apply constraints in global direction con 1 and con 2 are there this is the translation direction constraint and this is the rotation direction constraint so this body A is you know we are fixing translation as well as rotational direction so that's why I am switching to 7 so come back and apply this material property and a section property to the, to the body A and update it then come back create material property for body B so academy is same thing that is 20 mat 20 Select CMO 1 and CON 1. There is no translation in hinge joint or a relative joint, only rotation is there. So, here I am selecting 4. So, what does this 4 indicate? Means Z rotation I am realizing for this body B. This is Z direction rotation, right? It is, it will rotate. And as I am material to metal line property to body B same solid section and same metal body body B as line then the next thing whatever I am showing this is important learning once again go to F4 select those two nodes and find nodes between and same thing select this node and find the nodes between same thing you need to do over here also nodes between and this and this 
find nodes between so you can create a set of a and set b like that go to analysis set go to analysis page and go to entity set node set a means for for body a so select these two nodes and create it and select nodes of these two right you can select these two create it so you can review this whether it is create sets are created or not or set a yes it is created it is updated one not set b so they are turning into white means it was created so now go to menu page in that tool create cards in that constraint constraint extra node set so this is very very important because uh, these are the reset bodies because we are assigning mat 20 to both bodies so if I am using reset uh, NRBs and all so you won't be able to connect those things so instead of that I am going to create an external set with which we won't be able to get any problem while creating hinges or uh, any joints so this external set body A right so just select come down this is PID PID I'll select body A and NSID means node set ID so this is node set A right then we'll get like this these are the extra node set and I can create one more extra node set body B and call PID means part ID body B and select node set B so it is created created right so if you want to review these things you can select and review it right if you want to select this you can review it this one right and then create a component named as roller joint create go to 1d page fe joint the roller joint right first node so this is sorry the second node and third node is the fourth node just create it so hinge is created then switch off this you can see how exactly joint is created then you can uh, in previous session we used a four to make it zero distance so in this session I'll show you yeah, using F3 don't select equivalence don't switch on okay you can switch up thus and select this node should come over here and this node come over here so both of them they are not equivalence if you want to check select O select graphics in that constant picking go to f4 select there are two nodes are there right 
so distance is zero zero right same thing over here also two nodes it's a constant picking right so then next thing what we're going to do is the already this part is fixed and this part we need to define velocity means load so velocity we need to define in z rotation direction velocity set select initial velocity create it so this is the rigid body these are the rigid body so select rigid body this is the pid select this pid because i am giving z rotation and so vzr we can give any velocity 5 10 whatever <coughs> come back and go to analysis page in control cards you can select keyword and go to termination time yes total time so next one is control time step in that dd to ms you need to set to 0 0.010 means termination time is this is the total time in which time is splitted using time uh, time step parameter so 0.1 divided by 0 0.010 means 10 iteration it will calculate so in next session we will discuss about more about time step parameters in further session so this d3 plot for uh, so dd per cycle means 0 0.1 second uh, millisecond uh, can it will write output file as a d3 plot it's output file and database option i am requesting global energy that is a gl stat material energy and joint force for this uh, dd per cycle and come back export this can create your loot giant deformable to deformable select the rv and export all set to all and export it so after exporting this you can run so and of that you can see the simulation so i'll show this simulation open hyperview and call this file d3 plot then apply and you can see the animation thanks for watching guys if you like this video please subscribe us and like us if you have any questions write us on this mail id that is mspca at gmail.com thank you bye bye